Hi, this is ULM 2003 and 28 BYJ48 step motor working beautifully in my lab. Please see the LED sequence. This configuration is called wave drive the code. What are the ways I can run a step motor like this? There are three wave drive, full step, and half step. This one is wave drive. We're gonna fire just a face at a time. Just fine. First, declare the stepper motor connector on port B. Declare the weighting between each phase. Here we will initialize pin 8 to 11 as output in the loop. Just fire one pin at a time. C pin, pins 8, 9, 10, and 11. Just out of curiosity, let's run this faster and see the result. Just find now the other method. Code number two. This is for full step. Here we'll fire two phase at a time. You're gonna to get double the torque because with full stepping we're actually going to energize two phase at a time so at any one given slice let's run it now but first confirm the port 9 please pay attention to LEDs two lights at the same time two phases at the time this is full step here Notice that it should be connected to at least with 5 volt. That was a mistake. Do not run the Arduino like this. Use external power, please. Now let's run it faster. And there you go. Now, the last code. Number three. This is for half step. In half step drive, we're gonna sort of making a combination of wave drive and full stepping. This is going to give us a little bit less torque than full stepping just fine the same as the previous code C but now in the loop we're gonna alternate the fire sequence C1 and two phases together and again one and two let's run it and see the result Oops, the port 9. Now again, upload it. Now one LED first, then two LED lights in the sequence. Watch with care. One, two, one, two. Let's run it faster. Since there are eight faces and now things run more slowly. See, worrying. Grab a female to male jumper and plug it into pin 8 of the Arduino together with input 1. Now in sequence, no error. C, grab another male to female jumper and plug it into pin 9 of the Arduino together with input 2. Another jumper and connect it into pin 10 of the Arduino right into input 3 
another one in pin 11 of the Arduino right into input 4 see the connections now power supply connect VIN into plus like this and finally the last one grab a ground to minus in the board and there you have it oops I almost forgot see this jumper in this you could hook a switch up to that if you wanted to have sort of one and off switching of the motor without affecting the microcontroller let's reload the first code wave drive and there you have it thank you very much to join me here at j3 channel really do appreciate every friend viewers subscribe and especially you i hope you have a great day take care bye